it's fun sometimes. It's it's fun when it's like this. It's like okay, he hasn't been picked all tournament or banned, and yeah. then he's just picked up now and then oh, when you completely yeah. slip up and don't pick that much AOE. All right. Well, we'll introduce our two teams and see how things will go here in game one of our finals for Europe. It's going to be Team Secret on the Radiant side. They came through the winner bracket and have got themselves a pretty nice draft here in game one. Zai going to be playing that offlane Broodmother. Arteezy looks to be going mid on the Sniper. S4, the Centaur Warrunner. Puppy on the Chen. And that leaves, finally, Kuroki playing the Disruptor. He's doing some early scouting down bottom. We'll see Bone 7 here. Bone 7 with a ward, but seems to be getting denied the ability to plant that one. Very important for them. Limit their farm, force Phoenix to try and soak XP somewhere else, and try and let the Brood succeed and thrive. Yeah, and Brood with this cliff web can also Very scout out that Envy is at the top right. lane, so it gets an idea of what's going on. On the Cloud9 side, we're going to introduce things here. Eternal Envy going to be playing your safe lane farming Ember Spirit. Fata going to be going mid lane on the Templar Assassin. It's going to be Misery on the Rubik. Bone 7 on the Phoenix, and at least Big Daddy no -tell on the Jungling Enigma. Going to do an early Creep Deny down at bottom lane. But for now, it looks like Banneroon's coming out, and Cloud9 want to go get this top one, but Zai is there and looking to snag it if possible. Does Misery have any awards on him? Mm, I don't okay, he's got two sentries. Both Banneroons go the way of Radiant side. It's a nice start for old Broodmother. Whoa. Bone 7 got really low off that. Kuro with the, the Thunderstrike level 1 was... No, uh, Phoenix doesn't have boots, does he? Yeah. No, he hit Tango salves, and... That's rough. It's a rough lane. Forced to salve up already, at least. We can get back in time. We'll get his lane pulled back a bit by the Eidolons, and the Eidolons even doing that creep block slightly for him. But guys, here we go. Your finals of your Red Bull Battlegrounds. Be sure to let people know on Twitter using the hashtag Battlegrounds, and you can tweet using at Red Bull Esports as well. But right now, things getting underway. It's going to be a Sniper versus TA matchup in mid lane. I, we Notice saw this matchup earlier today. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. He, he's like playing up really close to the creeps, and he's he does he wants uh, the TA. If he ever wants to attack him, he wants him to be right next to the creeps to burn the refraction charges. And then if he does that, he just chases him down with shrapnel. So Arteezy is one of the best mid laners, and he's also very familiar on how to play against a TA. And like last time that we saw the matchup, it wasn't, oh, oh my goodness. This is that. maybe a kill on Fatih. If Arteezy can cut him around, the tornado damage is pesky. Not gonna be enough, it looks like Arteezy got a bit too low. No self, but he's not scared. I think he's got something coming. Yeah, there we go. He's prepared for this moment. It's an enigma anyways. Like enigmas typically don't rotate before six. It's very unusual in today's game. Yeah, Fata did bring out additional tangos, but that's not going to cut it, it looks like. He's now getting zoned out of this mid lane. Yeah, he went for a greedy build. Oh, oh, meanwhile, the bottom river, Bone 7, forced to dive out. Kuro and Puppy almost bring him down. Unfortunately, Puppy just level 1, and his creep he helping out the mid lane. Smoking? I think so. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got one big camp double stack, and that's about it. Top lane, Brood. How's our Brood Mama doing? Zai, just a few last hits here and there, but... Seems to be pretty on top of this lane. Has a sentry still in hand if he wants to d the lane sentry, but until he feels like he really needs it, probably won't be looking to do so. Poor man shield on Envy. This, I feel, is like essential against the Spiderlings. Otherwise, as soon as there's like six or seven Spiderlings, you're just, you're going down. Especially with his armor. I mean, yeah. Ember is notoriously low armor for an agility hero. We'll bring a protection and a poor man shield to try and make up for that. So we'll see how he does at the top lane. Just 6 CS. He's actually out last hit by the Brood. So this is not exactly a lane going well for him. Meanwhile, mid lane Fata getting low as well. Arteezy going to throw the shrapnel. Wants to commit to this kill. Rubik TPing in. Whoa! Arteezy says, where was my headshot proc? Wow. First blood goes Misery's way. No headshots onto Fata. If he got one, that's a kill. That would have been worth it had he gotten the kill. Yeah. He obviously not worth it now. It was like, what, three hits in a row without a headshot? At least two, I think. But... Nice TP. He saw the TP, could have backed off, but he was all in on that kill and didn't manage to come out on top. Yeah, maybe he could have placed the shrapnel slightly better, but yeah, it's pretty bad RNG to not get that. Well, now things are a lot rougher for Sniper. He's still got, like, the CS edge here, and Fata didn't actually get mm -hmm. golden That's XP for that kill, I don't believe. Maybe got XP. He's actually ahead on XP, so I think he may have got XP, but didn't really get much, much money out of it. Yeah, it's nighttime coming up soon, though, and Misery loves to roam, so he could share the same fate as our last sniper if he's not careful. Mm. 
We'll see how... The problem is this leaves Envy in a 1v1, which I feel like is not exactly favorable for him. He's lost his Sentry Ward for the lane, and Brood gonna start stockpiling Spiderlings fairly soon, so... Misery now TPing down bottom. Looks like he's gonna be in charge of stopping the push coming out from Secret, just using that Fade Bolt to pull away the Creep Wave if needed. Mm -hmm. So no rotations from Misery here. He's Isn't just that Phoenix's job, though? What's, what is Phoenix up to? It looks like uh, he's gonna... He was around checking the rune, but mm. I mean, you you need your Rubik to do a couple of things. Firstly, help out the TA. Secondly, help out the Ember. And thirdly, try and look for opportunities for kills. And I think soaking up XP is pretty low on that priority, especially when Phoenix is already in the lane. And I mean, Envy could get dove right now, especially with no TP up on Rubik. This is a very dangerous time for him. There's a lot of spiderlings for, for Zai. Seems like he's gonna just prioritize his farm more than anything. Sends him into the jungle. Uh, he can either win the lane, going, getting aggressive, going for kills, but then at that he risks kind of getting picked off, or he can just go for this jungle play and out-farm anyone on the dire side. S4 with an invis rune. Doesn't look like he'll be able to latch onto anything in this mid lane. Does get free up that bottom lane for a little bit with Kuro. Taking a few CS here and there. It was scouted out the bottom rune that it was picked up and was a invis rune for your centaur. Brood still dominating the CS chart at 30. Yeah. Envy with 22, but I imagine some of that is Spiderlings, which aren't giving you quite as much money. Level-wise, both teams doing decently well. The level 6 is coming out earlier on Team Secret, though, and now Envy with an early bottle is trying to do what he can as far as bring down some Spiderlings. Zyme micros him to the side, Searing Chains, just under the creep wave here. Envy just wants his level 6. I imagine soon we'll just see him, like, TPing home to just refill this bottle as needed, even, just to keep himself sustained in the lane. Yeah, Ember's actually doing very well. Yeah. I would say his net worth is suffering a, a bit. He's still. Fa uh, Brood is. It's more just like Brood is farming at a ridiculous pace. Ember Spirit with. It's not like safe lane free farm speed, but it's decent speed. Uh, TZ now in trouble. Here comes the smoke gang from the side. They don't get the telekinesis right away. There is going to be a Midnight Pulse Black Hole available if they want to go for it. Two heroes caught inside of that puppy as well as Arteezy. Both going to go down. Immediate buyback from your sniper. He wants some counter kills. Farta is going to be the target assassinate available. And Farta gets sniped. Looking for a second on Big Daddy No-Tail. There's two heroes down for Cloud9. About to become a third if they can get No-Tail's Enigma. And it's a good buyback from Arteezy. Wow. He gets a double kill. What, what a goal crazy goal. good buyback. That is, I mean, that cost him absolutely nothing as well. Wow, that was, uh, that's just something that you don't see. Cost him like 300 gold and he easily makes that back with a double mm. kill. Very sick buyback, good positioning by Puppy oh. too. I think he expected a gank coming. Misery, and misery this is, that's, that's a lot. Of without a TP, yeah. Spiders can get the solo kill here, but he'll nuke him down. MB out of the lane temporarily and during that time, Misery goes down. You just can't come to this lane, even hiding in the down trees. What, he's usually all about that efficiency. Yeah, it looks like he walked back. I'm not sure what happened there. Triple Fire Remnant gets no, some spiderlings. Well, there's your efficiency. Gets about 100 gold. <laughs> Worth. <Is it? laughs> like, yeah. Probably. Good enough. I mean, he, all he's doing is farming this game. He doesn't want to use... It's only not worth if he dies because his Fire Remnant's on cooldown in the next 20 seconds. Mm-hmm. Speaking of efficiency, no tail in this jungle. He's level 7 and... Doing a lot to just keep his farm going, t chopping down trees, getting good stacks happening, and it's been for the most part a pretty good Enigma jungle. But look at TA's farm relative to RTC. Even RTC with the buyback still about 1,000 gold ahead of Templar Assassin, which is no small feat considering that TA only has 2,000. The early game laying advantage, you can really see it coming into play here. The Shrap not going to lead things off. Puppy trying to go in. The glimpse back into the Sentinel stuns. Kinetic field there as well. The Stampede now used, and Fata dies again. The TA's woes continue. Meanwhile, top lane Brood kills off your Rubik once more. Oh boy. Envy may be the target. As soon as this flame guard wears off, he has to be very cautious. This is a completely different playstyle than what we saw Alliance with the Sniper. And they kind of just let PyCat got one kill and then it's like, okay, we're going to leave oh, him alone. Zai's going in for this kill. Uh -oh. The fire, the fire is going to come out to try to bring it down the Spiderlings, but... He still has bottle charges. Mm, okay, he, he has no, fi he has no fi flame guard is the big problem, but Zai chasing him down doesn't look like he'll get the kill. Need another nuke and didn't have the mana for it. Mid lane, though. Arteezy killed off the Phoenix. That's unfortunate that he didn't... Uh, the chains didn't hit the uh, spiderlings. I think if the chains hit the spiderlings, Brute can get that kill. Yeah. Doesn't oh. have the slow. I didn't have the man. I don't know if his soaring was up, but 
I mean, he could just chase him down. Yeah. I think right click with Spider Link's tanking tower. Anyways, they got towers. Cloud Nine just losing ground everywhere on the map at this point. Such good early game presence from Puppy on his Chen. He he is probably the best Chen at balancing farming and fighting. I would say maybe sometimes he farms a little bit too much, but this game I think he's been spot on with being in the mid lane to protect the sniper as well as kill the TA. Oh, they've got the glimpse back, pulls in misery, but. And Misery's been playing very reactively, right? He's been having to help out the Sniper in the mid lane, uh, help out the Phoenix in the bottom lane, as opposed to what he normally does, which is running around and set up kills with Telekinesis. Yep. And trying to react to the Brute Push on top, dying twice already. So, I mean, the Rubik is just not working out for Misery. Not in this early game. Well, on secret, just going from tower to tower at this point, using the Chen to create effect. Envy looking to engage at bottom lane with a Searing Chains, but he walks into a Static Storm. May need to be glimpsed back in if they want to try and kill him off, and doesn't look like they'll get him. They actually sent back the sniper to be on the safe side, but Ember Spirit off the top lane means Zai can just do whatever he wants up there. Big Daddy No Tail will come in on the Enigma, but doesn't look like he's going to have the best time as well against this Broodlings. Look at the net worth. I mean, the three Radiant oh Heroes are just supremely over-farmed. And looking at S4, Blink Dagger, online. And how are you supposed to deal with this as an under-farmed C9? Ember is still trying to fend off the Broodling push on top lane. Templar Assassin doesn't even have upgraded boots. Normally, it's, you get to the 10-minute stage, and there's one hero on the opposing team who's gotten a lot out of the early game lanes and is hard to deal with. At this point, there is three heroes who are hard to deal with. Brood, Sniper, and Centaur. No answer for the Centaur Blink, no answer for the Brood, really. And even the Sniper doesn't seem to have an answer for him. TA goes down with the Spiderlings burning the Refraction. Envy needs to be careful. His Fire Runner moving oh so slowly with the Spiderlings slow. He will get out of there, but Sai's chasing on through. They get the vision for the Glimpse. They're going to pull back in Misery, and with that, Rubik brought down. Brood gets another kill. Top tier 2 tower, there's a dive underneath it, and that's a third kill for Cloud9. Centaur War Runner comes into play. Just an early massacre by Secret. I mean, the Broodlings are just too much. They even provide vision for the Glimpse so they can get turn one kill into two, and they just keep stacking on top of each other. And ten kills for Secret in ten minutes' time. Oh, this is uh, It's going to be ugly, but we'll take a look. Almost 10,000 gold lead for Team Secret at just 11 minutes into this game. Blink Dagger up on Arteezy yet again, going for the unusual build, but he makes it work. Yep. And Cloud9, it's not like they got super greedy with this. I guess the second pick Enigma is kind of greedy, but it's more they got caught by surprise by the Brood. And also just the TA pick for mid just doesn't really suit a game with a Brood in as well. It's almost like the limited hero pull of Fata gave Cloud9 some problems here. If they had something more like a Shadow Fiend, I feel like they'd be in a much better position. And Secret like to play with Finesse with the Blink Dagger to run around a kite, like they're waiting for Disruptor, or waiting for Ember to go in so they can just kill him with Static Storm, and you know, they are they don't really like to like BKB brute force like a lot of other teams. Looks like C9's comeback Roshan is now the order of business. Stampede towards bottom lane though, they want Misery first, he seals the Stampede before the sun hits, but he dies anyways, and they Cancel Roshan, they're going bottom lane, they want to fight Secret, Arteezy TP's out before the egg can hit him, Black Hole comes in, only catches one and he's sent back, Puppy saves S4, sick plays coming out from Secret, and while all this is going on, Brood pushing the top lane, they get a kill on the Rubik, they get out, they force plenty of rotations, create space for Zai, that's just not what Cloud9 were hoping for. Fata as well as Nota was smoked up to try sneak a Roche. It looks like they'll still go in for Roche, but... They're already headed there. Look at Sniper. He's maybe oh poisoned boy. position to throw down a Shrapnel, and Fata is not farmed. He still does not have upgraded boots, opting for the Aquila instead, and their T3 is under siege. They're going for Roche, and while their Tier 3 may just go down here, Misery brought down inside his own bait. Envy shows up. He's going to be the lone defender. Classic Cloud9. Fire Remnant forward. Disruptors there. Static Storm and Envy. You may just be trapped in place here. Assassin there as well. Envy does he have a fire run and he goes to the side. Not gonna make it. Shrapnel chases him. Roshan is slowly going down. They don't even have the idol on. He didn't get the resummon on them. I mean, it's pretty clear that they're doing something strange just because so much action is going around our T3. There's only two heroes, but they don't care. Exactly. Aegis, you, Aegis is not going to do anything for Cloud9. The main thing about Roshan is the gold boost, I feel, at this point. If you kill TA once, you're probably killing TA twice. Brood has 9,000 net worth, doubling up any of your C9 core heroes. It's, it's getting embarrassing. 
What does he have? Is that Orchid? A Dagon, or maybe? SMY? Oh, wow. He normally goes for the Dagon, but this is more aggressive coming out from Zai. I think the Orchid would have been really good. I guess they don't really need it, but it's just almost guaranteed kill on Ember as well yeah. as uh, Phoenix. Ember just not a hero that wants to go for like a Manta or BKB, typically speaking. Yeah, he wants Battle Fury. Where is Envy's farm right now? He hasn't picked up anything. No, no one has farm. What are we talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, no. <laughs> Enigma with a mech, maybe? Yeah, Enigma with a mech is the only real item on the Cloud9 team right now. Everything else is just okay. little kitty toys. Here they go. They want to fight bottom. There is no Ember Spirit, but they do have Aegis. They do have Black Hole. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Hmm. Underneath is S S4. He's going to walk over near this trap, and I think he sees it with the tower detection. Says, let's get out of this one. They're pushing their five manning. Zai can do a lot top. Envy goes in, even with the triple fire on it, it doesn't even do enough damage to kill off the big spiderlings. Well, just pulls him back. Once he has leveled, if he levels up his ulti, I think that 450 damage will be just enough to kill off the spiderlings if he wants to use triple remnants, but... This is just not looking good for C9. They managed to get their first tower of the game, but they're losing so much elsewhere on the map, and... There's deep wards being planted by Secret, so even if they, whether they get this T2 tower or not, they've managed to use the map control to their advantage to take control of the map. Chen gets a mech now, and looks like Arteezy, just happy to sit back and chip away at this T2 mid tower. Free tower. No one in sight. They have to know they have a ward, though, because he's not, he didn't drop a shrapnel. Yeah. So. Something's giving vision of the T2. Mm hmm All right, well. Envy now, 1,400 gold. Nothing to write home about, that's for sure. And they're just sticking around the dire side of the map. Kuro looking for that base ward and will get one down. And I think he does so undetected, so... Giving a lot of intel. Secret, you know they're playing aggressive when you just look at where their three wards are right now. Bottom lane. Mm. Trying to get a kill on Puppy. Doesn't look like that's happening. He uses the mech here, but top lane, that's where your T3 tower is under siege. You've got to get back and defend if you're Cloud9. TP gets scattered out, phone 7, right next to this Observer Ward, and I guess the push is going to be slowed down. That annoying minus damage here. That's phone 7. Getting hit by the Assassinate. I think he pings things out, saying there's a ward somewhere here, but... Yeah, I don't know if that Assassinate was worth it. Especially yeah, since he has Tranquil's running. Revealing that ward here seems not value. If he did so, it was, there was pings coming out, so I assume that was a... Hey, get some sentries and take this ward out. That was a fresh ward as well. Not worth it if it does get dewarded because of it. Half damage on the T3 tower on top, and more importantly, kind of draw C9 into where Secret wants to go. Secret, they don't like to be in a time where like, okay, we have to back down because they're putting so much pressure. Oh, Fada. Fada. He may have an Aegis, but they may just look to kill him twice. Fada, gonna go down to one or two more right clicks. They've refocused their attention on the Supernova, but Arteezy quickly realizes... The Stampede and Run? Cannot fight. Yeah, Stampede and Run. That was not a fight they were gonna win. Well-placed Fire Spirits from Bone 7, but... They mech back up, and Arteezy may, mm. may or less just go right back down the mid lane and keep on pushing, farming, and looking to fight Cloud9. 13 kills to 4 now. The gold graph still leaning upwards, up to about 14,000 now for Team Secret. The Sentry Ward S4 maybe. Uh, the casualty here doesn't realize that initially until too late, but not enough damage output to bring him down. There's no tail. It's glimpsed back a short distance here. Envy now wants to go in, but goes flying into a static storm, and he's trapped inside this. That's going to be a kill, or is it? One more right click. Disruptor. Right clicks him down, and no tail now. With the Spidling army coming into him, he needs to be a bit careful, though. Phoenix will send through some fire spirits and a dive, give himself some nice money. Woo! He's making bank there, but even so, this is still very, very tough for, for Cloud9, losing Rubik and Ember Spirit. I mean, Kuro has been so good this entire series, though. His nice soccer, his disruptive play, just completely countering Envy. Every time you want to remnant in, boom, static storm kinetic field, and he almost died the first time. This time, he took a spill. It seems Secret is going to swing their attention once more towards the top lane. This tier 3 tower just slowly getting lower and lower, and Arteezy with Mask of Madness. And just throw assassinates out kind of willy-nilly. They glimpse Big Daddy no tail back in. No black hole opportunity for you. Also, the Phoenix walked into that one, and they get out of the Midnight Pulse and can just chip away at this tier 3 without a glyph available. Things looking very grim for Cloud9. 
Easy T3 beating on the racks right now. Arteezy doesn't have that many items, but it doesn't matter. Cloud9 does not have the force to cope with his Chen army, this overfarm spider. And the rest of Secret. Lane of Racks, 18 minutes in. It's just GG. Yeah, it's Team Secret tap out. He got brooded. Oh, it's Team Cloud9 tap out. Secret, take it, 1 0. <laughs> yeah, brooded. Yes. I, that's the thing. Cloud9 just have the potential to just get completely outdrafted. And that was, I mean, of course Secret played well, but that was all set up by the excellent draft. Hey, Ember's just not that great of a brood counter. He yeah. can't handle the lane alone.